Alright, so first one of the morning here. What do we got? Holy cow. <laughs> We've got a freaking giant crappie. Holy cow, look at the size of it. I don't catch many of these, so I'm just going to lip them just so I can get some pictures and stuff. I don't catch many of these. I caught one the other day, and I had some folks ask me about it and stuff. So um, so there we go. So that's, I think it's a giant crappie. I don't know. I'll measure them. I mean, as big as my hand and then some. All right, so I'm just trying to get him to put his tail down. I mean, this is approximate, obviously. 15 inches? I don't know. Is that big? I don't catch many crappies. You guys tell me. 1.8 pounds. 15 inches. That seems pretty big to me. That's a, that'd be a decent sized bass. So, here we go. He attacked three and a half inch paddle tail on a 4 0 hook. That's what he hit. There we go. Cool. It's a good way to start the morning. Oh, forgot to tell you. I'm at Crawford Pond. Um, local destination here. It's a place you have to go, you have to pay to park to get onto the lake at a campground. So. Uh, I came here once earlier this year when it was still cold and the water was still cold. So I thought I'd try it now and the water's warmed up some. Alright, got one outside, uh, alongside the dock over there. He's definitely a puller. Ooh, yeah. Splasher and a jumper. They got good energy here. They don't give up. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me get you out of here. So for those watching this, I have been to Crawford Pond once before. And we'll see if we can reproduce what happened last time. There's some monsters in here. Alright, so I've just thrown it on a scale just to get a frame of reference for what we do today. 2.54. So the last time I was here, there was a lot of big bass here. Uh, I caught a multiple four pounders and a couple five plus pounders. So this one's two and a half. Let me go back under his dock. See if we can replicate what we did last time. It was early in the season though. Um, oh yeah, we got our first big boy on here. That's a big one. That's one of the big ones from over here. Nope, 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 nope. No, no. Let me just get you. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll get you. I'll get you out of here. Don't worry. That's a big one right there. Grr. All right. There's a big boy. 4.1. Pounds. Fat. Donkey style. <laughs> like it. Big fat belly. Excellent. Alright. Mr. Pickerel made an appearance. Nice size pickerel. Himself out a little bit. All right, there's that last pickerel. A pretty big size one. If you've seen from previous episodes, you know where they're little short fellas. Chain pickerel, chain pattern, black line under the eyes. If anybody asks you what fish this is, it's a chain pickerel. It does not have another name. You can call it whatever you want. It's a chain pickerel. <laughs> the reason why I use steel leaders and such, if you get an idea, see all their teeth they have rows of teeth along the outside and a bunch of little teeth along the top and they tear up gear so 
That's why I use steel eaters. That's why I use fish grippers. That's why I use all that stuff. Looks like we got another donkey out there jumping. He's trying to spit that hook. Don't spit the hook. Don't spit the hook. Oh yeah. I see you. Ooh. Got a nice one. So what I realized, ow, what I, what I realized the last time I came here was there was a lot of very healthy specimens. Uh, which, you know, of unusually big size, which was kind of uncommon around here, in Maine anyway. So there we go. Alright, so there's that one. That's a three pounder. Kind of like I was saying, you don't get many large bass here in Maine uh, because the growing season's so short. So, you know, I've heard people say that large bass here are, are a lot older than they are in other parts of the country because it takes them a while to get that big. So, another beautiful one here. Put her back. Let her get bigger. All right. There's a little fella here. Oh, he broke my paddle tail. Alright, little fella. Broke my paddle tail. What nerve. Time for a new one. Oh well. Paddle tails are dispensable. He jumped off. Even the little one is not working now. This bite is really tough here. I think it's just that it's so hot that the fish are in a different mode. All right, so I switched up tactics a little bit. I put my deep dive and crankbait on. I'm trying to go a little deeper, and I got what feels to be very good pulling here. I'm on the low speed on my trolling motor. I heard something jump, and it sounded like a nice big splash. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I see something big down there. Look at that. The other rod was moving for a minute, and then it stopped. So, I don't know if it's still got something on. I usually just throw both of them out there. As a increase my odds kind of thing. Oh yeah, that's a nice one right there. I'm thinking the other rod has, a, might have some seaweed on it or something. Oh good, look at that. Spit it out just in time. Whew, man. That's a chunk right there. We're going to wait up that one. Look at that belly. Oh, yeah. That's nice. A little, little donkey here. And ballpark length is 20. Uh, and he is 4.28. He must be hanging down low because he's actually cool. So I'm guessing they're hanging down low today. So I'll switch up my tactics and go with the deep dive and crankbait now down in the depths here of 20 feet or so. There we go. Alright, got a little fella on here. He just jumped here right before the camera turned on. He's a little fella. Little small mouth. There we go. Little small mouth. Alright, we got our first little small mouth of the day. Little fella. Maybe eight ounces or so. He's not even a pounder, so. We get him out. Make him happy. Alright, looks like we got a large mouth here. Little guy, I'm in some real shallows here. Must be a shallow outcropping area here. Because in between there 
and there it's 20 feet and right here I can see two or three feet so little guy hanging out in the rocks here pretty colors light all right there's that little fella maybe a pounder hanging out in a little shallow outcropping here so I'm using the which I will fix a three and a half inch paddle tail weightless on the spring lock hook. Alright, so this one's shorter, I think. Yeah. Shorter than the others, but very sturdy. Wow, I haven't... It's, it's like a little tank. 4.2 pounds. So that's cool. Another four pounder. If, look at the girth on this one. Definitely shorter. It was 19 inches. I think the other one was 20, almost 19, I guess, maybe a little less, but 4.2, nice, thanks for playing along, you're beautiful, I'll let you go back there and go make more, and now uh, it's deep, so ran out of luck on the top, finesse, paddle tails, everything just started dying, it's too hot out today, I think, so I'm just kind of heading back, to where it came from and then I put a crank, deep diving crank on each side. So see if we can convince another one to play with us. Well having some camera difficulties here. My head camera won't turn on. Trolling again. And I was just getting ready to pull it in because I was hitting some shallow stuff. Oh, I just spit it off. <laughs> uh, there you go. I only had him on like one treble hook, so. Story of my day. That was another four pounder. Probably.